my biggest writing challenge I think is quite common, which is just getting started on a given day or in a given session, just sitting there and making yourself open the document and do it. So what I do is I just set a timer for if I'm feeling unproductive, maybe 10 minutes, or if I'm feeling really good, maybe an hour. Um, and then I work that time. And usually by the time I've, the timer's gone off, I've got my juices flowing and it's okay. So make sure you never um, lose confidence in what you have. Like, I, I think it's just too easy to get stuck and say, oh, everything has been said, there's no point of writing this, but it's very important to say, no, I definitely have something new to contribute. Most scientists will structure a paper around their key results and uh, their key data. So one of the key questions to ask is, what exactly are my results showing? Um, so you want to be really clear about that message and what do I want to say about that um, to my readers. In a lot of people's daily practice is to keep a lab notebook and I think whether it's electronic or on paper that's a great way of just summing up your, your day's work um, experimentally or theoretically what you've been reading and what you've been working on. So keeping a daily, daily lab notebook or a daily uh, note of what you've been doing and what you've been up to can be really helpful when you want to go back and refer to exactly what you've done in the last couple of months. I think the biggest writing challenge that I have is acknowledging that the ideas won't always come easily. One of the things I try to do in my writing process is give myself lots of time. So I like to start a lot earlier than perhaps some people would think I need to do. Just having the document and being able to start developing the paragraphs and developing the sections and, and allowing them that time to develop and grow.